G'day everyone, Jamie Chapman for another episode of 3 Minute Histology. Today we're going to be looking at antral follicles. So we've already looked at preantral follicles, uh, so um, please find the other video for that. So today we're going to move on to the next stage of uh, development, which actually requires FSH, which we'll talk about, um, antral follicular development. So let's start our three minutes. Hello. There we go. Okay, so you can see here we've got lots and lots of primordial follicles and then these large spaces, these are actually different stages of antral follicular development. Now some of these are actually undergoing um, breakdown uh, or atresia as we call it. Um, so I'll point those out. But here's a nice um, early antral follicular, uh, antral follicle. This is the antrum, this is the fluid filled space with the fluid being secreted by the granulosa cells. So this is the granulosa cells here or the zona granulosa which is the wall of the follicle. Here's our oocyte. It's surrounded by a thick glycoprotein coat called the zona pellucida. And then it's surrounded by several modified layers of uh, granulosa cells called the corona radiata. And at this stage, you can see it's eccentrically located to one side of the follicle. There'd be, um, if we zoom in a little bit here, wait for it to catch up, there'd be a basement membrane here, not always readily visible. And then this layer here directly on the outside of the basement membrane is the um, theca interna. And the theca interna is responsible for producing an androgen. So it has receptors for luteinizing hormone, binds luteinizing hormone, causes it to produce an androgen. That androgen then crosses the basement membrane. It's picked up by the granulosa cells in the presence of FSH, which then converts that androgen into an estrogen through the enzyme aromatase. Um, and then they secrete estrogen. So as our follicle uh, begins to be captured by follicle stimulating hormone, it continues to grow and grow and grow. More and more receptors for FSH, more and more conversion of um, the androgen into an estrogen and the levels of um, estrogen increase. Uh, so here we've actually got some other antral follicles. You can see that because antral follicles are quite large, it's actually quite rare to get a section with the oocyte in the middle there. So most of the time you see these big spaces um, without any oocytes, but they are uh, probably present, just not in this planar section. So here this oocyte's been removed through processing um, and here we've actually got an atretic follicle. So how do you tell the difference between an atretic follicle and a healthy follicle? Well, it actually so happens we have two antral follicles here side by side. If we zoom in, we can see some of the major features. So a healthy follicle has a nice uh, zona granulosa here, nice healthy looking nuclei, whereas over here you can see the cells are quite disrupted. They're not forming this nice tightly packed cellular layer. Um, so that's a really good indication of atresia under, uh, being undertaking place here. Again, here's another one which is undergoing atresia. Uh, it's a very common feature of uh, ovaries. So this, you, all the granulosa cells are starting to fall away and, and displace. Um, so this follicle is undergoing breakdown. So those are the major features which we find in an antral follicle and in three minutes there's the timer. So hopefully you found that useful and I'll see you in the next video. Hooroo!